Meanwhile, the Academic Staff Union of Universities is uh, proposing stiffer penalties for erring taxpayers in the country. Uh, this comes on a day the House Committee Tertiary Education Trust Fund uh, summoned some commercial banks over alleged under remittance of education tax to the fund. National uh, Assembly Correspondent Joke Adisa reports. Underfunding mm -hmm. is still the major problem slowing down the growth and development of tertiary institutions and a source of acrimony between unions and the authorities. Since 1999, Nigeria has had no less than 15 semesters, which is 66 months of academic interruption due to issues relating to finance. Government's effort at addressing the funding gap led to the creation of TET Fund in 2011. Registered companies in Nigeria to pay 2% education tax from their accessible profit. Uh, I want to appreciate... In the last 13 years, the fund has not been able to perform optimally due to an alleged failure of commercial banks to play their role as outlined. This is the order before the Committee on Tet Fund. The banks seem to be relying on a purported exemption order which clearly mentioned companies' income tax. We have asked the banks to produce the education tax exemption order. And they have failed to present it. Asu has always complained about deteriorating infrastructure in the universities and unmet demands relating to welfare. It insists tax defaulters should be held accountable. Why should the president approve a waiver for banks not to pay some tax? And this is the, the, the sector of the industry that makes so much profit on a yearly basis. Seven of the 15 banks being investigated were expected to show up here but only three had representatives. A representative of First Bank, Bashir Yusuf, told the lawmakers that between 2011 and 2022, the bank posted a profit before tax of 795.123 billion naira. There are certain categories of income that are exempt from tax. Some of them include short-term federal investment income, but the committee identified some discrepancies in the figures. If there is anything that is important to any Nigerian today is education of our children. So if you are invited to come in and discuss on how we can advance and develop education, I think it must be taken seriously by every Nigerian. The noticeable irregularities in the yeah, figures forced the committee to summon the chief executives of all banks earlier invited. Joke Edsa, TVC News, Abuja. And you so on to TVC News this 